Benjamin, Caitlin, Perry and Brooke, Australia's latest set of quadruplets. Well, the awesome foursome are now out of hospital and causing chaos in their new home with proud parents George and Karen Condros. And this instant family has just been given another big surprise. What's it like to finally have them home? It's fantastic. It's pretty unbelievable that we've got an instant family. It's very special. Life for Karen and George Kondros has changed dramatically. After being told they could never have children, they now share their home with not one, but four bouncing bundles of joy. Do you still pinch yourselves? I think we do. Hmm. Yeah, I think we do. I think we always will. Benjamin, Caitlin, Perry and Brooke came into the world eight weeks early. A miracle for the childless couple who'd all but given up on ever becoming parents. You must feel like the luckiest parents alive. Oh, I think so. We're very blessed and um, I can't believe how healthy they are. Yeah, very lucky. Reality, though, has now hit home hard. The awesome foursome are out of hospital and are already causing quadruple chaos. Is Southridge? The smaller one? Yes, the smaller one. And this is just for the babies. And there aren't too many kids who have their own fridge. No. <laughs> have you lost count of how many bottles you've got? Yeah, I have. The fridge is full of them. How often a day do you do this? Every time they feed. Which is how many times? Well, they're feeding four hourly, so six times a day. Hey, here we go. I've got washing. How much would you wash per day? Oh, at least four loads. Hundreds. Hundreds. Are you run off your feet? I am, yeah. All I seem to be doing is washing, yeah, feeding, washing. It never stops. No, never ending. And as for the dad who thought life for him wouldn't change much... Yeah. Make yourself useful. Again. So this is how a dad spends his day? Yep, takes me a couple of hours every day. And um, probably about three times a day. And um, I still curse my wife for it, actually. Dad's still... work is never done. No. <laughs> When we first spoke to the couple, their biggest worry was how they were going to transport the Fantastic Four. How are you going to fit them in the car? Oh, that's a huge problem. We're going to have to put them on the roof. <laughs> it's an old car. It's about 20 years old. But, yeah, no. Uh, maybe in the boot? Well, fortunately for Karen and George, the people who run car manufacturer Nissan saw that story and decided to come to the Quad's rescue. General Manager Leon Daphne. Well, congratulations, Karen and George. It's uh, my pleasure to uh, to give you the keys of this marvellous Nissan Patrol. Now, does this solve the car dilemma? It certainly mm -hmm. does. It's fantastic. We don't need no roof racks anymore, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, saw that show and uh, we we saw that they didn't really have uh, the transport they needed, and we just had to uh, to help out, and so uh, we're delighted to do that. You've uh, got seven seats in this, so there's room for one more, uh, but. Probably don't want to hear about that just take now. A bit of, <laughs> take a bit of convincing. <laughs> One more, I think. Mean. Yeah. I don't think so. Amanda Patterson with that report in Melbourne.